my name is Meyer Goldberg and I'm a social worker for St. Anthony's Hospice in Henderson, Kentucky. Hi, I'm Meyer Goldberg. I'm a hospice social worker. I've been working for 20 years as a hospice social worker and the last year I've been working at St. Anthony's Hospice here in Henderson, Kentucky. I do hospice. I kind of fell into it. I um, was looking for a different social work job and applied for a job with hospice in Houston, Texas. Not fully aware what hospice was, but once I took the job and got the training in-house, I found out that I fell in love with it. Um, some people would think it's difficult uh, or uh, depressing because you're dealing with people at the end of their life but I found it to be very stimulating because everybody has a story so all of my patients have a story and if they are not helpful in telling me that story usually their families are because sometimes they are not capable anymore of getting things out and this ranges from people all over I have had um, a patient who was setting up chairs on the deck of the USS Arizona at the time it was bombed in Pearl Harbor and while he could just barely tell me a little bit about it his wife told me the whole story fascinating fascinating man and I looked forward to my visits as much as they looked forward to their visits from me. Um, sometimes we as hospice workers, and that includes the whole team, the chaplain, the nurse, the nurse's aide, social worker, and sometimes certainly the behind the scene people also, the support staff in the office, but we become, for some people, the family when they have no family. Um, we are the people who check in, and we are the people who uh, bring by a birthday card or a birthday gift or um, pumpkin pie or, or something during a holiday when there are no family or there is no family around or the family and the patient are estranged. Um, it's, it's a very heartwarming job. Um, I feel like I've touched lives at the end of their life or their family um, at the end of their loved one's life. But I also feel like I've given a, a lot, but I've gotten a lot more. Um, people have shared deep secrets, people have shared their laughter, their great, their great stories about how they met their spouse or, uh, and sometimes they've shared their tragic stories, losing a child, an adult child, or um, how they lost their spouse, or when some kind of accident happened on the job and they hadn't shared that in quite a long time, if at all. And I've been fortunate enough to be the person they chose to tell that to um, before the end of their life. So it's both uh, happy and sad stories, but it's a joy to be able to help someone at any point in life. And it's certainly been a joy for me to help people at the end of life.